Arcade Heroes. Hey everybody, it's Adam Pratt with ArcadeHeroes.com and the Game Guard Arcade. Taking a look at the new shiny update to Big Buck HD, a coin-operated arcade hunting game by Play Mechanics and Roth Rills. Um, this was recently given a big free update via the internet. And with that, it's added the Duck Dynasty mode and a Big Buck Arcade mode. I'm going to get into the Big Buck Arcade mode first, and after that, the Duck Dynasty part. Uh, for Big Buck Arcade, it's a real welcome addition to the game for an arcade operator like myself. If I had any gripes about the game, it's been that uh, we've had to stop and help people navigate the menus on this, uh, much more so than helping anybody with any other game. Most arcade games, you just put them there and they do their thing. But uh, with Big Buck HD, it's often been an issue with people getting stuck in the menus, not knowing uh, if they want to put in a 10-digit password and their birth date uh, to create a login and those sorts of things. Um, so with Big Buck Arcade, as you'll see in the video here, um, the great thing about it is it gets rid of all that and all you have to do is essentially pick which mode you want, the turn-based shootout or versus match and it just goes from there. It doesn't ask you for your name or any of that stuff. It just goes. The essential game is pretty much the same thing as uh, Big Buck HD. You have to shoot the bucks, don't shoot the cows, shoot the little critters that come along, and try to get the best score you can doing that. With that, it's um, pretty straightforward. It just picks the level or the site for you. Um, you don't have to pick that anymore. Um, of course, there's none of the online things such as the Facebook or Twitter connectivity or playing against somebody in another bar or arcade. Now if you are into Big Buck you don't have to worry they still have the full Big Buck experience there. This is just great for casual players that don't want to deal with logins and all that fun stuff. Apart from that, as you can see, the only differences are that there's four sites instead of five. Um, also, the pricing can be adjusted differently from the other modes, so that uh, if an operator wants to make this more enticing to play for the casual player, can set it at uh, 75, 50 cents, or whatever you want. Now on to the main course, the Duck Dynasty edition that's been added. Uh, so this was announced in September 2013 by this flyer you see here. And that's of course based on the number one cable TV show on the uh, Robertson clan, as they call them, which are... Uh, I guess uh, they like to say millionaire rednecks. If you're familiar with the TV show, then it, of course it doesn't need any introduction. Um, as far as this game goes, the beta test period was held in October, and this part of the update was rolled out on November 11th. Uh, so every time you start the game, there's a voiceover by the family patriarch Phil Robertson touting the Duck Dynasty addition to the game. Here's an example of that. Look at here, look at here, Duck Dynasty on Big Buck HD. At the time of this filming, the price of $2 play was locked Buckle in the machine. This day just got there's off. actually a continuation part in the middle where you add another dollar, so to get the full Duck Dynasty experience, it's three. Um, on the other modes, of course, operators can change that to their liking. Once started, they show off the Duck Dynasty opening clip, and throughout the mode, there are video clips from the show, which will tie into the subject matter of the minigame you're about to play. Locations uh, cover four areas in West Monroe, Louisiana, and the game will ask if you have a login, uh, which I have, and I'll just skip over here. Um, at the beginning of each player's turn, one of the Robertsons pops up with a quick humorous one-liner. There's four rounds of duck hunting, followed by a bonus game, which you also see here. Uh, as you can see from the play, it's a lot like a modernized duck hunt. You just don't have that hunting dog to deal with. Uh, you just uh, The ducks fly up in the air and you blast them out of the sky. Here a one-liner from uh, one of the Robertsons and uh, just see what kind of score you get. Of course, also, you don't have to worry about distinguishing between bulls and cows like in the regular <laughs> big buck mode, so that's always a bonus. And uh, you also keep a lookout for frogs, which will give you extra bonus points. Those are always good. And the four rounds of play also get progressively harder, although I wouldn't call it a high difficulty curve. You just have more ducks to blast, and you just have to be 
quick on your trigger finger to make sure you get all of them for the best score. As mentioned, each after each duck hunting round, there's a Duck Dynasty specific bonus game. Uh, these aren't in randomized order, uh, so it's the same thing every time. Uh, the first one's a duck call packaging game, uh, where you blast the duck calls multiple times until they fly into the box uh, with the uh, styrofoam peanuts. Uh, followed by the Beaver Dam mini game, uh, where you get to kind of play a version of a whack-a-mole of, of sorts um, with dynamite, which is always more fun. Uh, and then after that, the bonus round you come across is Frog and One, where it's a interesting combination of golf and uh, blasting frogs that are on the golf course. Uh, this one, I'd say, is probably the most difficult of the mini games, just due to the frogs are a little hard to hit. And then the uh, last one is called Get the Gator, where you uh, take out the swimming alligators that'll attack you on the boat. And, of course, uh, like the duck hunting rounds, these will be spiced with uh, different clips from the TV show, which, uh, if you're a fan of Duck Dynasty, then this is uh, definitely a big fan service to you, as there's plenty of clips to see and one-liners that uh, people enjoy. Um, as I mentioned, about halfway through, it asks if you want to continue for another dollar, and so to get the full adventure, um, it's three dollars a play. Uh, and that puts it in the same category as the adventure mode in Big Book HD, where you pay more to play through more levels and bonus rounds. Overall, this addition to the game is something that will certainly please fans who are both into Big Buck and Duck Dynasty. I think it's a good match that fills out the overall game, and it's the first in a long time that we'll have a duck hunting video game in the arcade. Certainly made to please Duck Dynasty fans, and if you aren't a Duck Dynasty fan, then that probably won't sway you over. Uh, but still, as video duck hunting goes, best looking one on the market, and it's still fun. It's still uh, big buck style play, and so if you're into that, you should enjoy it. Uh, and that pretty much wraps it up, so you can find Big Buck HD Duck Dynasty Edition at uh, pretty much anywhere where there's an online-enabled uh, Big Buck HD. They should already have gotten the update, so it probably won't be very hard to find if that's something you're looking for. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, catch you later. Some pretty fancy shit. There's plenty of fun there. I will just disagree to disagree.